Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need to... You don't need the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your divinity by being alive, loving yourself, and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 159, NASDAQ up 318, SP's up 53, gold contract up $2.60, trading at 1806 an ounce. We have silver up 10 cents, $22.47 an ounce, light sweet crude. Up $2, $92.35 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 27 ticks, trading 126.25. The 30-year off a full point, plus 20 ticks at 153.08 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 78 ticks, trading 95.457. Euro is 114.52, and the yen is at 115.22. 115 British pounds at 135 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, what we're going to see first, uh, what I want to actually show you first is this. We were talking about the volume yesterday, and you can see this contraction that happened. And, we, you know, the reason I'm going through the volume first, folks, I'm going to show you when you basically come down too fast, there's no more sellers. Now, they had price destruction going in a monster way yesterday, there's no doubt. But see that? That's on the NYSE. 974 million, that's all you did? Like, as you can see this, you, you're talking 1.2, 1.2, 1.6, you know, bottom line, huge contraction. That's on the NYSE. We go to the NASDAQ composite, and you are going to see the exact same thing. 4.2 billion, 4.6, 4.6, 5, 5, 5, 6, okay? You get the gist of it. Okay, so now let's go into the S&P and take a look at what we have. So... What the SPY did out here today, what the futures did first, futures came low. Actually, let me, I'm going to put up the futures because this is cool when you see how this shook out. So, your E-mini, what they, what they did out here is that, I'll put that up. You know, you always hear me talking about the highs and the lows. And, okay, so if you're watching Tiger TV, what, you, what you're looking at here, you got your two basically little dash lines on it. You know, and you can see what, what happened out here this morning. The bottom line is, what do we do? Well, we, know, we knew yesterday you're coming down with light volume. Now what we do on the open is that you go into the highs of the lows. You have a total rejection of lower price. Why? Because the bottom line is that the contraction of volume was so dramatically. Now watch what's going to happen. This is going to be a trip, man. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to the spy so you can see the volume underneath the whole ball of wax. So more than likely what we have here is an ABC structure on the way up. The reason I'm saying that is that when you come down like this, first off, we came straight down. Then you messed around down at the bottom in five days. Then you get a point three eight two uh, bounce on the way up, or 5.0 bounce, uh, depending on what, what swing you're taking off, okay? 3.82 from the top, 5.0 from the last trend down. That being said, the bottom line, you had the contraction of volume. Then today, you actually went to a lower low. So you're going to have lighter volume on a lower low, a rejection of lower price. And guess what? We're going to find out Monday or Tuesday um, as the SPY goes after 458.12, if, in fact, it's an ABC structure up. Now, watch how this plays out, folks. And this is, this is where this is cool. Because the volatility is so high, because there's plenty of folks that flat out think that, hey, the market's never going to bounce, particularly after yesterday, okay? Um, this, the, the SPY set up for 474. Now, the way I did this, I didn't take it off the low. If you take it off the low, you get, up to, you get it over the highs, actually. There's this, okay, so here, let's do this. This is how it works. If you take it off the low, then you do get over the highs. It's, uh, the price projection is 481, right? That's how I did it the first time before I, when I was doing the update. Then I says, you know what, that's, you want to be more conservative. So if you just take it off the straight line move from 427 instead of the low of 420, what you end up with is with 474, and 474 
is going to bring you right into the downdraft that was created off that high. So it's pretty cool, man. And the cool thing about an ABC structure, of course, is that <clears throat> this one is a decent AB ABC potential on the way up. And if that's what you get, you're going to see that the, the C point, I mean, it's not too far away. So it's pretty cool. Uh, on the Qs, you're at 361. Your price projection, it will have to, you know, the, the C point here is uh, 370.10. And you're going to need volume of more than 78 million shares. Uh, Q's did the same thing, though. Bottom line is that you're going to have a lower low. It's going to be lighter volume, more than likely. That, yeah, it's going to be lighter volume than yesterday. So you went to a lower low, rejected price. Bottom line, this sets up uh, 382. No, no, no. What did I just say? How do I do that? 382? No, that's the first one. I didn't write it down. I can't believe I didn't write it down. Oh, no, that's right. I did, because the top is 400. Okay, no, three, 382. So 382 is right around in here somewhere. Oh, that would make sense, man. Okay, so check this out. The 378 and 380 are the lows of the highs. That's how that is set up, which is really cool. So that's what you want to be looking at, man. When we, but that, that, this is also saying to me that when we come in next week, bottom line, the market still wants higher price. This is how this is kind of set up because there's going to be, there's going to be plenty of folks that are on the wrong side of this market anyway. That, that's how this shakes out. Uh, gold. Let's go to the gold contract. So we look at, look at the gold contract. Gold contract out here up $3.50. The, you get 171,000 contracts, which is good contract volume. It stuck its head up 815 today, still couldn't make it. But now what we have, and you can see it quite clearly, Yesterday, you're pushing the swing with volume. Yesterday, we did uh, 174,000 contracts. Today, we're, gonna, we're at 171. That's how you have to push even small swings in order to get the higher price. And let's go to King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar because it's all about where King Dollar wants to go. And what you had out here again today is that King Dollar couldn't hold price. King Dollar got up to a price point of 95,701. Right now, you're at 95,449. Bottom line, King Dollar is making its way into lower price. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.